Seven simple swimming rules that will save your life. Let's imagine you look through the holiday photos of your friend who has just returned from a sea vacation. What do you feel? Envy? No? Is it fear? Well, then you are in the same boat as celebrities such as Carmen Electra, Snoop Dogg, Sandra Bullock, Richard Branson. All of these people are afraid of water and it can become a big problem. If you just don't have much confidence in your swimming skills, our handy guide will help you finally feel like a fish in the water. You can do it, just make an effort. At the end of the video, you will find a small bonus that might save your life one day. Number 1. Overcoming Fear Fear is one of the biggest obstacles people have to overcome while learning to swim. You might be surprised to know that 60% of Americans are afraid of deep water and 45% are frightened of water over their heads. To deal with it and to prove to the world how brave you are, there is a simple technique. Breathe in sufficient air, take different poses and feel how the water itself lifts your body to the surface. But don't forget that the depth shouldn't be more than one or one and a half meters, one step at a time. Number 2. Learning to breathe while swimming Now you can't argue that the way you breathe is super important during swimming, can you? So the next logical thing is to learn to do it correctly. Breathe in through your mouth when you are above the water and breathe out through your nose or mouth when under the water. Try to develop a rhythm. One more exercise to practice is to hold your breath. You never know when it can come in handy. Number 3. Making friends with the water If you perceive the water as something hostile and dangerous, revise your attitude. Imagine it's your good friend. Tender, caring, funny. Lie back on the water surface, spread out your arms to your sides and relax. Feel how the water supports your weight and slowly moves you as if on big swings. Or you can try lying on your front with a pair of goggles firmly in place and watch the life going on below. It will help you to feel more confident in the water. This way, concentrating on the underwater world will switch your attention and you will relax. Number 4. Learning to use your legs. If you have managed all these activities, let's get down to swimming itself. First of all, you need to learn to use your legs. This exercise is called the crawl. You need to stretch your arms and grab the side of the pool or a swimming board. If you are steady, move one leg up and down and then repeat it with the other. It will turn out better if you bend your legs only slightly, trying to stretch out your feet. You should move only your hips. One more exercise is called breaststroke. To perform it, you need to hold on to a swimming board with your hands. Then spread your legs outward and back in different directions, bending your knees and push, push forward. Don't get embarrassed if you feel you look like a frog. It's meant to be like that. Number five, learning to use your arms. Congratulations. If you can confidently and rhythmically use your legs, you have passed this level. Time to move to the next one. It will show you how to use your arms. Let's start with the crawl again. Start working your legs using the crawl method. At the same time, place your arms alongside your torso and begin to lift them over the water, making half circles in the air. Stretch back your head as much as possible. As your arms go under the water, they should draw half circles at the level of your body and then return to the starting position. Mind that your hands should be stretched out and you should paddle in sequence. Now turn to your front. Paddle using your arms one after the other. You should pass your arms under the water in half circular motions every time returning to the starting position. Breathe in when your arm rises into the air, turning your head in its direction. What you shouldn't forget is to coordinate the movements of your arms and legs. If you feel confident enough, you can practice breaststroke. How do you do it? When pushing forward with your legs, stretch your arms forward as if they were an arrow. 
Then spread your arms out simultaneously in a symmetrical half circular motion, bringing them together at your breastbone and then moving them back to the starting position. An important thing is, when you spread your arms out, lift your head above the water and draw in air. If you still don't cherish the feeling of your head underwater, it's possible to swim with your head always raised. Number 6. Treading Water Oh great! You feel like a professional now, but don't hurry to swim across the Bosporus. You still have things to learn. For example, to tread water vertically. To do this, you need to move your legs as with the breaststroke, dragging water under you. Spread your arms out to your sides and make circular motions with them. It will help you to float. Another variant is to tuck in your outstretched legs and imitate riding a bike, with your arms bent at the elbows and moving in circular motions away from your body. Number 7. Learning to swim underwater Now you can undoubtedly enjoy any holiday near the sea to the fullest, but there's still one thing that can make the experience even more interesting. It's swimming underwater. How to proceed to this next step? Push off the floor and dive under the water from where you are standing. Place your arms in front of you, forming an arrow shape. Then pull your chin down toward your chest, but don't touch it. Push forward slightly in the direction of some point in front of you. When in the water, you can use the arm movements from the breaststroke, pushing forward every time you stretch them out. You can use one leg at a time in sequence as you do with the breaststroke and crawl, or move like a dolphin in waves. If so, you will probably appreciate how flippers can help in this style of swimming. It's important, safety comes first. Well, you seem to be ready to go to the big water now, but don't forget that safety comes first. And if you think it's a good idea to swim after taking a glass of wine, you are wrong. Don't swim if you have consumed alcohol. If you feel pain, dizziness, cramps, get out of the water immediately. Don't follow others' example in jumping from a pier. It can be extremely dangerous. Swim only on well-maintained sandy beaches, in places without strong currents, where there are lifeguards and where the water is regularly checked. Finally, as a promised bonus, there is some information not everybody knows, but everybody has to. When you are swimming in the sea, there might be a danger of getting caught in a tide which will take you away from the coast. In a situation like this, it is crucial not to lose your head. Don't try to fight the tide. You will be left with no strength to get yourself to the shore. It will help much better if you start to control your breath, stop panicking, and try to approach the coast swimming first parallel to it, and then little by little coming closer in a motion diagonal to the tide. Well, that's it. Let all your swims be safe and enjoy the water. Don't forget to hit the like button below the video. Ever wonder what it'd be like to swim? Ever been one of those people that looks at everybody else swimming and enjoying themselves? Don't look like a drowned bear or, or, or a dog doing a dog paddle, but can actually, with a little bit of confidence, do a couple of nice strokes through the water? The way of keeping fit. Justin Patrick helps you do that with seven day swims. Seven discs, it's even discounted at the moment. So why not be one of those people that's in the action instead of looking from the outside in. Hi, my name is Justin and I'd like to welcome you to the seven day swim. Uh, the seven day swim is essentially an online program that teaches anyone how to swim within seven days. Uh, now I've been a lifeguard and swim instructor and teacher for over 10 years. And I've coached uh, lots of students from all kinds of backgrounds, from little babies to children, to teenagers, adults, to seniors. Uh, from all kinds of swim levels and backgrounds, from the complete beginner who was scared to put their head in the water, all the way to the competitive swimmer that just needed a little bit of refinement in order to swim just a little bit more efficient. So over the course of many years, I've seen a lot of kinds of swimmers, and uh, basically I've compressed all of my knowledge into this uh, online program that I've created, the 7 Day Swim, in order to teach you, the, the viewer, the, the student, how to swim. Now, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I was never a good swimmer when I was young. Uh, when I was a little child, I was scared of putting my head in the water. Uh, I remember my mother would take my sister and I to the uh, local pool for weekend swim lessons and I was always the one that was scared and crying, uh, being afraid of being in underwater. And I remember the teacher putting my head in the water and I would just hate it. 
felt like I was going to die every time I was in the pool. And this continued on throughout my lifetime. Uh, when I was a, a child, I was always the slowest in the class. Uh, out of all the other kids, I was always the weakest. I always repeated the same swimming level for many, many, many times. And I just felt like, you know, this was a waste. I, I wasn't really good at it. I was not really talented at this. So uh, it took me a lot of determination and a lot of trial and error and a lot of failures for me to finally get to where I am right now. Uh, it took me a lot of hours swimming in a pool like this by myself, alone, on weekends or uh, after class, and just learning through my errors and getting feedback from other students and other teachers and uh, other uh, supports, uh, that I would just eventually be get to a point where I was able to be able to teach what I've learned through my mistakes in a program such as the Seven Days Swim. Now, the Seven Days Swim is broken down into seven days. Now, if, if you are a complete newbie, if you've never swam before, or if you have this fear of being in water, then this is the program for you. Uh, we start off from the beginning. I break it down step by step into seven modules, uh, all from the beginning, all the way from breathing, all the way to when you're doing your last strokes as a front crawl or breast stroke. I break it down into seven easy modules for you to follow. They're all video formats, so you watch them. Plus, I give you some guides and notes and information for you to download as well as a book. So it's all there for you to uh, take in, and it's very easy, very comprehensive. Uh, I built this program because I really wanted a program like this when I was starting to swim. Uh, there was nothing like this for me. And, and I know that a lot of adults, especially uh, when they take swimming lessons these days, they're, they're put in a group of like 10 to 20 other adults, and they have this teenage swim instructor teaching them how to swim for the first time. And it's very awkward because you know, there, there's no connection, there's no, there's no real in-depth knowledge that the teacher can teach you because the teacher only has 30 minutes to spend with you or the whole cl class and that teacher has to divide his or her attention amongst all these students and they just go through this standard set list of what to do in the class. So there's no real individual attention, there's no real detail in the class and especially my mother. My mother, she told me, she complained about how bad her, her group swimming lesson was because she essentially what I was describing was what she was going through. She was suffering because she wanted to learn how to swim, but she didn't want to be stuck in a class full of 10 students, 10 adults, and a teenage uh, swim instructor teaching them, okay, do this, do that, and do that. And she was like, I can't, I don't know how, how do I learn? There, tell me the story behind how do I do a front crawl, or tell me the story of how do I do a flow properly, or I have this problem, a specific problem where I blah, blah, blah. She can't get that kind of attention. So essentially, I, I thought about this as well when I was making this course, and I said to myself, okay, I'm going to make a course that helps as many people as possible get through this hurdle of uh, awkwardness and uh, this feeling of embarrassment or just, just this support, this supplemental support that, that a lot of swimming classes and, and, and pools lack. And I've been a lifeguard for more than 10 years, and I've seen this, this need amongst students. Uh, this this kind of a uh, program that's missing from all these lessons that that we teach in the pool like this So uh, I really recommend that you try out the seven-day swim if you really want to learn how to swim confidently If you want to take up water sports if you want to swim in the ocean if you want to know how to handle yourself in, in deep water This program goes into more depth uh, this program not only covers seven days of, of learning how to swim but as well I include bonuses uh, as well into the lessons. So for example, I teach back crawl, how to handle yourself in deep water, butterfly, treading water, all these things that you think you need uh, in order to handle yourself in the water, I put it in this program for you. And as well, if you sign up, you also get a lifetime access and lifetime support from our staff. So if you have any questions, if you have any specific things that you don't understand or you have this problem with swimming, our, our support team will help you out with that, right? So again, this is, a, this is a very valuable course that I highly recommend. I wish I had this program when I was starting on the swim. It's only $97, and you can pay it through PayPal. We, we accept all major credit cards, and you can try it out for 60 days, uh, risk-free. So uh, if you're not satisfied with the program, you can get a 100% money-back guarantee within 60 days, no problem, no questions asked. And, uh, but I really recommend this program. If you were starting out, or if you just need some fine-tuning in your swimming, or if you've, you've had this need to, to swim your entire life and, and you just 
you just you need that help the extra help I, I really would like to help you and I really believe in this course the seven day swim so try it out thank you for your time thank you for watching this and I wish you happy swimming cheers <laughs>